Hello, this is DCJ Gaming. Today I'm doing my first devlog on my game, Champion of Vandia. I've been working on this game for about two years. Just want to give a quick overview of what the game looks like, some of the features. I'm still in early development, still working on it, but if it looks interesting to you, we would really appreciate a visit to my Steam page and a wish list. I'm hoping to release the game in the next um, four to six months, um, but looking for feedback from the community to continue to make it better. Uh, make it uh, really as good as I can make it. So um, with that, let's get into the game. We'll start first with the champion creator. So the game is set in a medieval fantasy setting. Um, this whole continent here is called India. Um, you play as a human, a couple different kinds of elves, dwarf, um, and you're fighting against orcs and goblins and minotaurs um, and other fantasy creatures. Uh, so we'll start first here, as I mentioned, plays a human, wood elf, high elf, dark elf, uh, dwarf. And every race has different starting stats, um, or levels, attributes, um, that's what I call them, strength, athletics, intelligence. Um, I think we'll just play, I will play as a dwarf. Um, all different skin colors. Eventually I'll be adding in uh, hair and beards and that kind of stuff, but... I just kind of have the bare bones right now. Um, the dwarf um, starts off with a buff to strength, um, a little bit lower intelligence. Um, Look at this goal. Uh, as you can see, lost all that cool armor I had. And you start off at the very bottom. So, no gold, no experience, uh, and the worst armor, worst weapon in the game. Um, and as you go, complete missions, you earn more gold, you earn XP, and you level up. Um, so this is the armory, um, over 200 different assets between armor, helmets, weapons, um, everything has different stats, um, so a lot of variety, a lot of customization. Um, right now the only thing we can afford are some different colored uh, worn clothes. Uh, I think we'll go with the, uh, the red, I'll give that a go, but um, a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, some things to work towards. Um, this game is played fully cooperatively, single player, um, you play some PvP, um, playing co-op, you can play with a, a three of your, your friends, um, but um, you play completely single player, completely up to you. Um, as I mentioned, uh, you can earn experience, um, and experience you can put into one of three different attributes when you level up. So strength, which is gonna increase your HP, um, the weapon damage, uh, go into athletics to improve your stamina, stamina regen, um, how quickly you attack, um, your critical hit chance, and then your movement speed. And then intelligence um, will increase your mana points, your mana regen. I'm going to add in, um, it's going to do more, you know, do more damage with spells, um, that kind of stuff as well. Um, right now I have five different spells when you're healing. You have a shield which will block other spells and block other projectiles like arrows. Um, there are three kinds of magic. Uh, fire magic, which does damage and has a chance to burn. Uh, frost magic, which does damage to opponent's HP, but also their stamina. So stamina drain um, can freeze an opponent, so slow them down for a duration. Uh, and then lastly, storm magic, which... Uh, does damage an opponent's HP, but also damages their mana, and it gives you, as the caster, a chance of actually draining that mana. So you can regain some mana while stealing some of your opponents and doing a little bit of damage. So um, kind of nice variety in, in magic here. Um, a lot of different stats that kind of drive off these attributes. So your damage, your swing speed. Um, stamina costs and different actions like parrying and uh, dodging, uh, run speed, walk speed. So um, this is kind of all the different stats that are running behind the scenes um, driven off these three main categories. Um, but with that, let's uh, let's get into a game. A couple of different maps right now. Um, play in the arena. Um, and then four different difficulties. Um, obviously, we're level one. Um, with no armor and a really poor weapon, so I'll stick the easiest and see how it goes. Um, as I kind of mentioned at the beginning, 
kind of a similar combat style to Mountain Blade or For Honor. So you block three different directions, um, parry, dodge, um, cast, um, there's a shield that blocks things, and then you have light attacks, which come in from different directions, and a heavy attack. Um, but yeah, we'll come into the arena here and see how long we can last. Um, on Novice, which is the, the easiest of four feet, there's seven waves that get progress progressively harder. Uh, so here's wave one. Um, just got this little goblin. So there's the blocking here. Uh, that's a heavy attack. Just, um, but it basically attack the direction they're not blocking, and you'll be okay. Um, again, this is the easiest difficulty, so I'm uh, the AI isn't exceptionally smart. Um, they get a lot smarter as you know, the increase of difficulty. Um, you might not be able to see it too well, but on the right of their HP bar, it shows what level they are. So finding one level two goblin and one level one. Um, um, but yeah, they're uh, yeah, just not the smartest yet, but that is the intent of the difficulty. Um, there's a heavy attack, so the difference between the light attack and the heavy attack is heavy attack is quick, um, doesn't do a lot of damage compared to the heavy attack, but quick, doesn't cost a lot of stamina, um, and you hit from different directions, but it can be blocked. The heavy attack is slower than the light attack, but does more damage, um, and it cannot be blocked, so you can only stop a heavy attack. Uh, with a parry or by dodging out of the way. Um, that red exclamation point above the enemy is a heavy attack indicator, so let's see if we'll do that one. There's a light attack blocking the third heavy attack, so I have to parry that, which that's what the parry looks like, so it's just a timing play. Um, you can also kick, kind of get your opponent off balance, get a quick hit in, um, dodge around them, so heavy attack. Um, all the damage um, with melee weapons is um, physics based, so um, the length of the weapon um, has a bigger hitbox and, and thus you have more reach with the weapon. Right now is the default, you just have a short sword, so not a lot of length, not a lot of reach, I'm getting pretty close. And, uh, that can get pretty, pretty challenging in some of the multi fights, we're trying to avoid getting Mob. Um, AI uses magic, um, just like you as a player can. Um, so you have to use the shield. Um, really, in fighting these multi fights, it's try to create one on one opportunities um, and then get out. Um, try to avoid uh, really kind of getting surrounded. And they double team me in their spell, and then the dark elves are coming out. But on the little board, and some XP, uh, come back to the main menu, and I'll kind of demonstrate buying something and call it a wrap. Um, we don't have a lot of gold, six. Uh, buy one thing. Yeah, I really can't buy actually much of anything, so uh, I'll have to go back to get anything too much better. But I can buy the blacksmith clothes, so I'll go with that. You get uh, nothing uh, completely uh, cosmetic, but uh, at least we accomplished something. But yeah, that's the uh, quick overview of Champion of India. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate uh, the view. I um, really appreciate a like and subscribe. We're we'll doing more um, game dev uh, diary updates, um, showing off more of the game, deep diving into more of the maps. Um, and if you're an indie developer and have any questions on the game before, I'm going to do some tutorial series on this channel too, but I would be happy to cater to any specific requests. Um, thanks again, and have a great day.